Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I want to talk about something that has been the most life-changing thing that I've ever implemented into my spiritual practice and, and made it a part of my lifestyle. And I'm going to tell you the same thing today now. Before I get into that, please, if you like my content or you've seen it before, and I'm going to t talk about and simplify spirituality, consider giving me a subscribe. Also, join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, where I answer your questions, I contact with you. It's a wonderful, like-minded group of like-minded people. So let's jump into this today. Today, I'm talking about this lesson that I... I never actually go against anymore. When it comes to the law of assumption, manifestation, spirituality, we're often asked, is action required? Yes, action is required, firstly. There is some level of stepping into the world that is necessary, right? But this is the thing that people always seem to get wrong around action and why you need to hear this. Action is required. But do never, never take action from a, from a place of fear, anger, or any other emotion on that spectrum. Action in those moments is never going to lead to anything good. You see, I'd rather sit still and do nothing. I'm going to give you an example of, of one of the ways that I've done that recently. See, I, I'm moving my website over to a different host and provider. I'm also uh, setting up the membership that's going to be launching in March, by the way, guys, and it's going to be unreal. It's going to be a game changer for everyone. And I was really coming up against it because I was not able to really, if I'm honest, get it to the where I wanted it to be. So I was getting frustration coming up in me and I'm forcing. You see, what happens from those energies is you force, you're trying to force reality into how you want it. See, we and Dr. Joe Dispenza would call that creating matter to matter. It's painful, it's hard, it takes a lot of your energy. Life really solidifies when you take action from these steps. Life really becomes a solid matter rather than a fluid, flowing, gorgeous thing. So what I tend to do and what I'm gonna tell you to do is notice your feelings. How many of you out there who are entrepreneurs or maybe your parents or maybe you're, oh, and you've got a situation right now that just feels so frustrating and overwhelming and forced and, and bothersome. Don't, you're better off sitting still right now. What you need to recognize is your emotional connection to it, your, your response. What is your response? So in my case, I was feeling frustration. Right, so I'm feeling frustrated, stuck, da da da, all of these uh, energies, right? So then from there, all I'm gonna do is start to slow down. Just literally stop physical action towards the end result. Then no physical action right now is gonna help me to get to the end because I'm not living in the end now. I'm seeing the lack of the end from that energy. Do you get where I'm coming from? I'm seeing the lack of my end result now. So what I tend to do there is notice this energy notice this feeling and just start to breathe notice it on my body and breathe and once i feel that i've released it that just becoming the observer of it it eventually releases right from that place i am peaceful harmonious effortless i'm going to tell you what happened then now i start to say i'm divinely guided in all ways to the solution of this thing every effortless easy creation comes to me wonderful new loving ideas come to me right and then from there what happened i was reminded of a wonderful place where i can outsource someone to do this i took on a guy he didn't do a good job again no feeling took him off no feeling because i actually hired that guy now that i remember I hired that guy when i was frustrated but actually what i did is i dealt with it and actually i came to a conclusion and i hired this other guy well, he's just sent me some pictures and shots of what it's going to look like. And I am blown away. He is effortless. He's made it exactly how I want it to look. He's, he's making it perfection in my eyes. You see, take the path of least resistance. But you don't, you've got to deal with the resistance in you first. See, that's what taking the path of least resistance is. You, you deal with the resistance in you first. A lot of the time, people talk about it being like, just take the easy route that feels natural. 
Yes, there's some intuition in that, but actually the path of least resistance is when you have no resistance. Then you're guided to the exact right path. You see, so if there is a problem, if there is something in your life at the moment that needs a solution, stop all, stop all physical effort towards the end of that result. And just start to recognize now that you need to now deal with this internal turmoil. Deal with the internal turmoil by just observing it. You see, that's what people, people come to me, they're like, what is it I'm meant to do? It's as simple as that. Observe what the emotions are saying. Observe what they're doing. Allow the energy to move around your body. Allow it to do it. It will find a way to release because the same way that your body releases waste food and water, it releases waste energy very naturally. You see, you are a, you are a being with chakras, energy centers. That, that's what they are. The energy in the body has a natural way, just the same way as your heart flows, you know? Just the same way as your heart beats the blood around your body. The energy has a natural way of flowing around the body too. It gets stuck just the same. If your blood flow got stuck, you would go to the doctor. If your energy stuck, we tend to just not even recognize it and just keep allowing the problems to persist. But that's why having a coach and doing these techniques and living this way, live the lifestyle of it. Trust me, this will change your life. So I'm going to say to you today, stop all action and deal with the emotion around the situation first. Then when you come to a place of peace, harmony, now you may take a step into the world that is going to absolutely be guided. And I like to always say this before I take any action. I'm divinely guided. The solution always comes. There is always a wonderful outcome here for my greatest good. Can you repeat this regularly, knowingly, systematically? Now, guys, I want to tell you something. Thank you for watching the video. Firstly, please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Just to give you a little shout out, guys, I am going to be opening up my doors and my membership on the March the 15th, I hope. OK, I'll be more specific once I've got all the content up there that I want. There is going to be, especially from the beginning, I'm going to be putting so much content on there as the weeks go on when it launches. There will always be monthly new content. There will always be bi-weekly live calls with me, if not a special guest. There's going to be a meditation station. There's going to be short inspirational videos. There's going to be longer challenges. There's going to be online courses you can access. All of my online courses on this uh, membership. There's going to be challenges, everything, you name it. We're going to have a community there where you can speak about the different things that we're doing. Stay in touch it's going to be the most harmonious, wonderful place to be. And I hope to see you guys there when it finally launches. I've been working my sweet little butt off on this. But now, again, I realized I was getting more physical in the world. I sat back, I stopped, I relaxed. You guys need to trust this process. Hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you at the next one.